Dear students, now we are going to discuss transformer coupled class A amplifier. Let's start with the disadvantages of directly coupled class A amplifier. The directly coupled class A amplifier provides poor efficiency and it cannot be used for low impedance loads, especially for loudspeakers. Okay, so in order to overcome the drawbacks of Directly coupled class A amplifier, we are using this transformer coupled class A amplifier. So here in order to improve the efficiency, impedance matching is required for maximum power transfer to the load. It can be achieved by using transformer circuit. Okay, so in the output side, we are going to use transformer circuit. For this low impedance loads like loudspeakers, we are going to use transformer to deliver maximum power. Here we are going to use step down transformer. Okay. So next the circuit diagram of transformer coupled class A amplifier. So in this diagram this R1, R2 resistors are mainly used to bias the transistor. Okay. So here the load is the loudspeaker load. So loudspeaker is having that impedance range from 4 to 20 ohm. It is very low value. Okay. So here the, this transformer is used to match the impedance at this output side. Okay. So whatever voltage available at this primary winding side, we can transform that voltage to other side which is proportional to N2 by N1. So we can easily match the impedance values and we can deliver the maximum power to this loudspeaker. Do you all understand this concept? Without any input signal, if you are going to give only this supply voltage, then the transistor is driven only by the supply voltage. That time it can produce the DC supply power. Okay, so without any input signal and giving only the supply voltage produces the DC Supply power that is depending on the VCC value and the current drawn in this collector side. Okay. So this is called as DC power. Okay. So next whenever we are going to give the input signal. So here we are going to give AC input signal. Okay. So at that time it can produce AC output power. Okay. So here we are going to use step down transformer to match the low impedance load with the collector circuit okay in transformer coupled class a amplifier we have to consider three transformation ratio the first one is voltage transformation ratio it is the ratio of the number of secondary turns to the number of primary turns okay so it is represented as small n n is equal to n2 by n1 which is also equal to v2 by v1 where v2 is the voltage at the secondary winding v1 is the voltage at primary winding from this we can get the value of this v1 is equal to v2 by n okay so next current transformation that is represented as the ratio of the number of primary turns to the number of secondary turns that is N1 by N2 that is equal to I2 by I1. It can also be represented as 1 by N. From this we can get the value of I1 is equal to I2 multiplied with small n. Okay. And the last one is impedance transformation. So here voltage as well as current both get transformed from primary to secondary winding. Then the impedance can also be changed. Okay. So here we can consider two impedances, one is RL that is the actual load impedance, the another one is reflected impedance, okay. So here this RL is directly connected to the secondary winding, it can be a loudspeaker, okay. So here RL dash is the reflected impedance with respect to the secondary winding. RL is equal to V2 by I2. RL dash is equal to V1 by I1. So here we are going to substitute the values of V1 and I1. So what is the value of V1? V2 by N. I1 is equal to I2 into N. Then we can get V2 by I2 
into 1 by n square. So, V2 by I2 is nothing but what? Low resistance. This reflected impedance depends on the low resistor RL which is divided by n square. It can also be written like this. RL dash is equal to RL multiplied with n1 by n to the whole square. Okay, so here we have to ensure that RL dash value is always greater than RL for a step down transformer. So this is very very important. So when the resistance value is high, the voltage is high, correct? So here the voltage is high. When the resistance value is low, the voltage is low. Do you all understand the relation here? Next we are going to find out the efficiency of this transformer coupled class A amplifier. For that we can consider the DC supply power and AC output power. So without any AC input signal, the DC power is provided by the supply voltage VCC and DC current drawn in the collected circuit that is equal to VCC into ICQ. Correct? So without any input signal, if you are going to give only the supply voltage, then the current through this collector circuit is ICQ. This will give only the DC supply power. Okay, so next we are going to give the AC input signal. So in that case we can get AC output power. Here the AC power delivered to the load is on the secondary side of the transformer. Here we are going to use step down transformer. Step down means here the winding of the secondary is less than the primary one. Okay, so here the AC power is equal to VRMS into IRMS that is root mean square values it can be obtained as VM by square root 2 into IM by square root 2. Here VM represents the maximum voltage IM represents the maximum current. Then we can get the AC output power is equal to VM IM by 2. In terms of maximum and minimum values of voltage and current we can write this VM is equal to peak to peak voltage divided by 2 for example so we can say this is the signal means the overall value is peak to peak value if it is divided by 2 we can get only the maximum value okay so here vm is equal to 1 vpp divided by 2 peak to peak voltage divided by 2 similarly im is equal to ip by 2 the whole divided by 2 so here this peak to peak voltage is nothing but V max minus V main, IPP is nothing but I max minus I main. Then 2 into 2 into 2, we can get A. So this is the formula for AC output power. Do you all understand this concept? Next, we are going to find out the efficiency. Is the amount of AC output power delivered to the load from the DC supply power. So it is the ratio of AC power delivered to the load to the DC supply power. It can be represented in terms of percentage, okay. Next, we are going to substitute the values of AC power and DC power, okay. So, here AC power is equal to V max minus V min into I max minus I min divided by 8. DC power is VCC into ICQ multiplied with 100. So, this is the formula of efficiency for this transformer coupled class A amplifier. Next, we are going to find out the maximum efficiency of this class A amplifier. So, in that case, we can consider the output characteristics that is IC versus VCE. Then we can have the AC load line and DC load line. So, here the DC load line is having the straight line with respect to this VCC supply. Okay, this is the AC load line. Here the Q point or operating point is located exactly at the center of this load line. With respect to this Q point, we can have the maximum swing of the voltage and current values at the output side. Here we can have the maximum output current is 2 times the ICQ value and here I mean value is equal to 0. Similarly, we can get the maximum voltage is equal to 2 times the supply voltage. Here V min is equal to 0. We are going to substitute these values in this efficiency formula. Then we can get this eta max that is the maximum efficiency is equal to 
to VCC that is the maximum voltage value minus 0 into 2 ICQ minus 0 divided by 8 VCC ICQ into 100. Then we can simplify these terms. We can get the answer as 50 percentage. So this is the theoretical value of the maximum frequency but in practical we can have only 30 to 40 percentage. So next we are going to find out the power dissipation. So power dissipation is nothing but the difference between AC power and DC power. Okay. When the AC input signal is given to the circuit, maximum amount of power is delivered to the load with less power dissipation. So without any AC input, then the DC supply power is dissipated in the form of heat that is called as maximum power dissipation. So next, advantages of this transformer coupled amplifier. So it provides very high efficiency when compared with the directly coupled class A amplifier. So it provides 50% efficiency class directly coupled class A amplifier provides only 25%. Impedance matching is possible for maximum power transfer to the load. Here the transformer is mainly used to provide impedance matching between the output and the load. Okay. There is no DC current flow through the load. Okay. So the wastage of power is minimized. So next the disadvantages of transformer coupled class A amplifier. Since the transformer is used in the circuit. The circuit is bulky as well as costlier when compared with the directly coupled class A amplifier. It is also providing the poor frequency response. It is little bit complicated to design. Okay.